Hey, Dan of the Eagle here. So far we've been over a few basic tips whenever formatting your resumes. For example, the very basic bold, italic, underline, and all those fun things that we're already used to, as well as some of the tools that are in the paragraph menu. Today we're going to take another look into that paragraph menu, but click into the tabs button and see exactly how you can use tabs to your advantage. Let's specifically take a look at this professional experience section and the project and look at a different way to organize it a bit better. Very often we'll see where people actually want to have some things right aligned, some things left aligned within it. So they might, you know, put both the company name and the role onto the same line, hit the space bar a whole lot of times, and then hope that it lines up perfectly. From there they might even highlight it and try to change the bold make it bold, change color, and you'll see as soon as you do start doing things to it, whether you're changing a font size, you actually end up breaking it. Then you're always forever trying to fix it and trying to make sure it fits. Let's, let's take a look at a more easier way using tabs that we can still align it, still make it work well, but make sure that it always work, it's always fitting. So let's start with this exact line, this right here, and we're just going to highlight the whole thing and click onto the paragraph button followed by the tabs menu. In the tabs menu we have a few different options. So I'm going to actually set a new tab. You see here the default tab is always half an inch. That means every time you hit that tab button, the tab key on your computer, it's always going to move it over half an inch. So I'm going to set a new one and I'm going to have it be six and a half inches. I choose six and a half because I want it to go all the way to the other end of my page. I know that my page is eight and a half inches with two one inch margins, which means I want it to go over six and a half inches. From there, rather than left align, I also want it to right align. So that means that the very edge right here is going to go over to the very six and a half inch spot. From there, I just need to hit set, push OK. Now when I come back down and hit tab but decide it, it's automatically there. The great part is even when I push space, I can keep spacing and it's not going to affect it. I'll always have that extra space in between. So from there, sometimes we even see people that maybe I want to put the city where I did the work and I want that to be aligned to the middle again I could continue to put spaces but why not use the tab now that we know exactly how to do that so in which case I'm just going to highlight that paragraph again go on down hit tabs so I've already got that six and a half inch one I'm gonna add a different tab stopper and this time I'm gonna choose 3.25 and that's because six and a half divided by two is three and a quarter which means I'll get right to the center and I want to align it at the center. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to say the middle of this section here is going to hit at the 3.25 tab stop. I hit set, OK. Now all I need to do is hit tab once more and I'm there. So if I actually look at my formatting you see I have one tab right here and that ends here. Oh, I should actually delete these spaces to make it center. And then I have the other tab right there. The final way that we can really use tab to our advantage is by having leaders. So let's say, you know, where I've got my time slot and the total amount of time I actually want on the same line. I want to right align it, but I also want some dots in between. Again, I could hit periods and hope for the best. But for the same reason, as soon as you start changing font sizes, this could get messed up and it just makes things a little bit more difficult. So let's use tabs. This time I'll highlight this paragraph. I'll go to my paragraph section, tabs. Do the exact same thing. So I'm actually going to clear them all just to make sure that it's all right, that I'm set. So here I'm going to choose right, six and a half, just like we did. And I'll set that. Now I'm going to hit it, and down here at leaders, I'm going to choose my paragraph, or sorry, the periods. Once I hit set there, I'll hit OK. Now, as soon as I hit the tab button between, I actually have periods and it right aligns. And this all works out much better than trying to use spaces because again, it's a lot cleaner and it works out so that way if I need to change font sizes, it continues to maintain exactly where it needs to be. And that's the basics of using tabs. I hope that you play around a little bit more and see exactly how you can use tabs to your advantage. Have a great day. Keep resuming.